So after seeing dozens upon dozens of comments, just like you're seeing on the screen of people asking for more in-depth appointment setting training, today's your lucky day because we're going to be doing the only, and I mean only appointment setting masterclass you will ever need for your appointment setting career. The information we're going to cover in this video is exactly what allows people like Jacob here to do 10 to $15,000 a month as an appointment setter every single month. So make sure to take out your pen, paper, and let's get after it. Welcome to the remote closing Academy. So did you do it? Did you get the pen and paper? Like, I'm serious. You're going to want to take the notes on this one. So in this video, we're going to cover three main things. Number one is the overall sales process and how you fit into that as an appointment setter. Number two is we're going to go in depth on the word for word script that you can use. And then number three is we're going to do a live sales call to show you exactly what this looks like in action. So let's get to it. All right, guys. So busted out the iPad once again to give you a visual representation of what this looks like. And this overall guys is just a simplified version of the sales process. So again, they watch some sort of video video or some sort of, you know, training on the first side, they come in for a triage call. They go in for the cons consult or the closing call, and then they ultimately close, or there's going to be follow-up. Now where you fit in as the appointment setter is the triage call or the queue call, which is qualification call. Now, if you get really, really good at this, to be honest with you, 80% of your life 80% plus of your life as an appointment setter is getting really, really good at this and teeing it up for the closer. Here's the thing. If you get really good at this and you, that's literally all the time that you spend, you can have a really terrible like application and the interview, and maybe you just don't have any experience. If you get really good at this, you are almost guaranteed a spot as an appointment center. And we've talked about it dozens of times on the podcast of people that have no experience, just really, really got good at the setting call and they crushed it. So in this video, we're going to go over the inbound appointments, the ones that have watched a video and they go to set the appointment, but they might not be that qualified. That's also why we call it a queue call is because we're going into quality. Um, now with the outbound call here, uh, outbound call on messenger, we're going to talk about that on the next video as the part two to this and really go in depth there, but let's go and jump over the script and break that down for you guys. All right, guys. So now that you have a good understanding of where you fit within the overall process, let's go and go over the triage call script. So this is broken down into five different, uh, sections. We'll say number one is uh, the report and frame. So this is where you're building a little bit of trust. You're kind of taking control of the conversation. Number two is the mini discovery. So in this section, the majority of the call, you're going to be doing two things, figuring out where their current situation is and their desired situation. Those are really the main two things, because if you have those two things, it'll be very, very simple for you to set that next call, right? And like we said, if you just master this script here, it's 80% of the entire process, like uh, of being an appointment setter. And number three is a transition. So transitioning from the mini discovery into actually setting the call. And number four is physically booking the call and confirming the call. And then number five is qualifying to make sure that they're going to be a good fit for the offer that you are setting for. So I'm going to go through this script again. We're going to do a live call here in a second. Um, so I'm just going to kind of go through this quickly. Keep in mind here, the thing that I'm going to be selling this person, imagine that I'm on a, like a consulting offer where I'm teaching, uh, I'm teaching other businesses on how to grow. So that'll, again, that'll make a lot of sense here in a second. So let's just start it off again. Rapport. Um, I just say, Hey, what's going on this? Uh, or I would say, Hey, is this John? And they'd say, yeah, it's John. I'd say, Hey, what's up, man? It's uh, Aaron. How's it going? And they'd say, Oh, it's going good. Keep in mind. This is like a set call. So they have like an understanding that I'm like there. We have the call like set on the calendar. So they, they, they're under, like, they're expecting my call and I say, okay, awesome, man. So, you know, I'm doing pretty good. Actually just got finished the gym, got some breakfast and you know, I got ready for the day and uh, feeling good, feeling good. How's your week been so far? And uh, yeah, so again, really just like laid back conversational. You don't really want to force anything. I wouldn't say like, how's the weather in Wisconsin? Where are you from? Like, it just seems kind of, I mean, it's overdone at this point, you know, um, just not my style. And then, you know, once you do that uh, naturally within the conversation, there'll be kind of like a, a low point where, you know, no one's really saying anything. So that's your job to then come in and frame the call. So you'd say, okay, awesome. So let me just go ahead and set up the call here really quickly. Um, you know, I'd really like to get as much help. I get you as much help as humanly possible. And in, in the short amount of time that we have uh, set aside here, um, in order to do so, you know, what I really want to, what I found to really work best is just getting a quick idea of where you currently are you know, what your goals are, what you're looking to hit and, and where you need the most help right now. So, uh, to be honest, it shouldn't take too long, maybe five, 10 minutes. And, uh, you know, based on what we talk about, I can definitely give you some actionable like pieces of advice or some content. We have a ton of videos that I can send you, um, to be rel relevant and useful to the problem that you're currently facing. So, you know, does that, does that sound good? All right. So you can hear like laid back, like, you know, it's not something where it's like, you know, I'd really like to help as much as possible so I can help blah, 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 blah. Right. It's not, not that it's more just like kind of laid back and you'll hear in my voice, like, and based on this script, if you're looking at it, I, I will intentionally add in like 
ums or like I'll kind of clear my throat a little bit or like or you know or just things like that. And then I'll also like saying words that aren't within the script but because it feels natural to me after doing, I mean, hundreds if not thousands of appointment setting and closing calls at this point. So that's that it can't really teach that that's more comes with time understanding the script but if you go through the script like you know a hundred times like you'll be able to do that pretty easily so let's jump into discovery so again this is the the bigger part of the call um, and we're going to go through each of these questions here so first things first you're going to ask the first couple questions so you're going to say okay gotcha so you know what do you think right now is your biggest like challenge your biggest problem within the business um so again i'm i'm talking to let's say i'm talking to like a real estate marketing company i'd say you know what what is like the biggest challenge in you know in the marketing company right now um and you know again based on that i can pair you up with something that i think could help you out and that give you the problem right the big the biggest challenge that they're that they're dealing with um and then we're going to jump into a uh, background question so um i'd say okay so just just so i have a better understanding here and then i can help you best I mean, what is like the current, like, what is the current offer? You know, what are, what are you selling to your clients? And they'd say, oh, well, we're selling Facebook ads or marketing services, whatever. You'd go into that, ask questions about that, get some clarity there, and then write it down. I love to have a, a notepad. I got these like, not legal pads, but they're just like white pads from Amazon. You can get like 15 of them for like 15 bucks. Like they're super cheap. Um, I like to do pen to paper. It's just easier for me. And then you would do, you know, you'd ask them, okay, cool. What is the current price point for that? Like how much, how much are you charging? They'd say, well, we're charging 1500 a month. Okay, cool. And, and who is your like ideal client? Like if you could only work with one person for the rest of your life, like who do you think that would be? Um, and they'd say, oh, well, I want to work with brokers or team leaders or people that have money, right? That's usually the questions that they'll give. Um, you know, what is your current sales process? And walk me through, you know, if, if there's someone that's like a buyer or seller and they come through your website or they first understand about you, what is the process of them becoming a stranger, right? A lead into an actual a buyer or seller an actual transaction. Tell me, tell me about that process. Um, so really what you're trying to do there too is, is you want to understand, you know, if they have a sales process behind it, because sometimes if they don't really have a sales process, it might not be the best thing to like, to, to bring them forward because they wouldn't be able to actually see success. So a lot of these questions are like almost like also like kind of disqualifying and seeing if it's, if it's something that could, that you can actually help them out with now probing questions. So a lot of times this is going to be, I mean, as the name suggests, right? Probing is like, you're probing into what they're currently telling you. So um, one of my favorite questions is like, tell me more, you know, tell me more about that. What, you know, what, what do you mean when you say that, um, you know, you're, you're not at the place where you want to be. Or what do you mean when you say that, you know, your biggest problem is blah, 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 right? So you're just tell tell me more, tell me more about that. So really like, this isn't necessarily like a part of, it's not in, in the sequence of like, okay, this is like comes next. This is more like probing questions. Like, tell me more. What do you mean when you say this? Why do you say this is your biggest challenge? These are questions that would come after almost any of these, right? So let's say, you know, they say, you know, what is your, you, they say, what is, or you say, what is your biggest challenge? And they say, well, my biggest challenge is, you know, I, I can't get clients. I say, okay, gotcha. Tell me more about that. You know, what do you, what do you mean when you say you can't get clients or what do you mean when you can't blah, 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 right? What do you mean? Um, or why do you say that's your biggest? So you're just like really probing into the, the reasons of those. And then that brings us to the next section here, which is ultimately chunking down. So all this means is you're going deeper and deeper into the things that they're telling you. And again, these are like chunking down. You would do this for pretty much anything. So again, a that I have on here is more of like the thing that they tell you. And then you're just breaking everything down. So for example, if I said, you know, what is your biggest challenge right now? And they said, well, you know, it's, it's lead generation. And I'd say, okay, gotcha. And, and how are you currently generating leads right now? Right? Like how, how are you getting new people within the pipeline? And they'd say, oh, well, you know, I'm doing organic or I'm doing referrals or, you know, whatever they, I'm, I'm running ads and say, okay, gotcha. And then we're chunking down again. They said organic referrals. I'd say, okay, gotcha. Last month, how many new appointments did you have with like with potential clients? They tell you, oh, well I had like blah, blah, blah. I say, okay, got it. And what about like the month before that? Like how, how many appointments did you have the month before that? Okay. Gotcha. And how many of those were your perfect client that you told me above were the people that were blah, 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 right? Whatever they told you. And, and a really important part here, guys, is you want to take different things that they told you earlier within the call and put it back in front of them, right? Cause it shows you that you're listening and it also becomes way more powerful because you're taking exactly what they said and you're putting it into like this real world scenario. So it feels more real to them. And then it also feels like they, they also feel like you're more of an expert because you're like really understanding their issue. Um, so you know what, uh, so about three in the last two months. So that let's, let's say that they told you like, you know, three in the last two months and you'd say, okay, how many of those were your perfect clients specifically? And out of those, how many did you enroll or how many did you bring on as actual clients to, you know, as, as sellers and say one and say, okay, gotcha. And you know, what was the price point? 
well, like what price point was that? Oh, they were at 350,000 and the home. Cool. And you know, is that what you want to be charging? Like, is that like 3% commission? Is that what you want to be charging? Or do you want to be charging more than that? Um, or what do you, what do you really want to be charging or what are you worth? Do you want to charge 6%, 10%, whatever. So you can see like what we're doing is where we took the original idea of my problem is lead generation and brought it all the way down to figure out, okay, they're only doing one client and they're not charging what they need to be. So then we're getting to the root of the problem of it might not necessarily be like lead generation is the problem, but more of they're not charging enough. So not making the amount of money that they would want to. So again, keep in mind, like this is, I'm, I'm using this real estate example, but you can do this with pretty much anything. Let's say it's like a, I don't know, like a weight loss offer, right? So chunking down the question would be, you know, what is your biggest problem right now? And they say, well, I can't lose weight and say, okay, gotcha. So, you know, you can't lose weight. What are you doing? Like, what is the program that you're going through right now? Or what are you currently doing to lose the weight? Oh, well, I'm, uh, I'm doing intermittent fasting. Okay. Gotcha. And last month, you know, how many, how many days were you intermittent fasting and how much weight did you lose during that amount of time? And how much did you really stick to, to the, um, you know, to that, to that program? Oh, well, you know, I could have probably done more. I could have blah, blah, blah. Okay. Gotcha. And what about the month before? Uh, you know, how much did you lose before? And then it's like, okay, and then you're really just chunking it down. So you're figuring out, maybe it's not necessarily that like the, the weight loss is the problem. It's maybe just the way that they're doing it or the, um, you know, the, the program or whatever it is, right? Cause you're trying to help them understand, you know, the sim simultaneous explanation, why everything else they've tried in the past hasn't worked and why this is going to be the thing for them. Now, all that being said, you're not the closer. Like this is more of the appointment setting. So you're not really doing all that, but you still want to get like a really deep understanding of, um, of, of what they're currently struggling with. Um, then number five is, you know, within the same section here is need payoff. So what you're trying to get is, you know, so ultimately, you know, if you're able to get lead gen figured out, you know, what's the, the biggest, like, what's the goal for your company? Like ultimately like big picture, what are you looking to do? And then again, you would probe into that. So back to the probing questions, tell me more about that. Tell me more about that goal, what you're looking to do, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, and then what we want to make sure to do is we don't want to move any more forward, right? Almost look at this as a checklist. You don't want to move forward until we understand the full context, context of the situation and the problem. You want to understand why that problem is a problem, right? Why are that? Why are they, they in that situation? Um, number three is we've assigned specific numbers to the problem. So again, how much money are they making? Where do they want to be, right? What are those goals? You know, what is their weight? What is their desired weight? How many dates are they going on, right? If it's like a relationship offer, how many dates are they going on? How many do they want to be going on, right? What in a perfect world, what is that? And then also we have their goals, right? Where they currently are. You cannot move forward and set the conversation if you don't know what those things are. So again, at this point, um, you would then move on to book the consult. So after you've asked all these questions, you go through this and, and really just like write this out for yourself and almost treat it as like a roadmap, right? You would never, you never like go on a road trip that you have no idea where you're going without Siri or without maps or without, you know, any of these apps because they treat you, uh, you treat it as a roadmap. So the same thing with this, look at it as a roadmap, write it down, um, and have it to glance off of in, in your conversations. So you go through that stuff and say, so you know, after you get full clarity on it and say, okay, awesome. So, you know, look, I think the training that I have here based on everything that you told me, we have a couple of things that I can send to you. Um, and I can do that. And while it's definitely good, you know, it's honestly, it's not going to be the magic bullet. That's going to get you to, you know, a hundred grand a month tomorrow. So again, this would, you would, you would put in whatever their goal is, right? So it's, it's not going to be the thing to get you to, you know, 50 dates tomorrow. It's not going to be the thing that helps you lose 30 pounds tomorrow, but it, you know, it'll definitely help. So look, we have a ton of clients in the, in the marketing agent space that are doing way bigger numbers like that. Like we have people doing, you know, 500, 600, a million dollars a month. Um, and, and really independent. And regardless, if you decide to become a private client or not, I can pair you up with Mitchell, who is actually our right hand or Cole's right hand guy. Uh, he works really closely with the clients. He can show you some of the frameworks and some of the strategies and methods that, you know, our guys are using to hit, you know, over a million dollars, you know, $500 million plus in their marketing agency. Um, if that's something you're open to, is, is that something you're open to? And then they'd say, yeah. And I say, like, okay, cool. Great. So, or sorry, <laughs> I'm using a bunch of filler words. So I say, okay, great. And you know, of course, if you want to know what it's like to work deeper with us, he can talk a little bit more about what that looks like, but again, no obligation to do that. So I have my calendar open right now. When works for you I actually have, you know, 10 o'clock tomorrow or 2 p.m. tomorrow uh, to book in some time to speak. They'd say, okay, I'm pulling up the calendar, whatever. And you would book it in, right? You would figure, and we do like the two, the two call approach to make sure that, um, you know, we're giving them some options when they're, when they're going in. 
So then you would lock in the consult, get them to, to accept the calendar invite on the call. That's super, super important because if not, uh, sometimes they will, you know, they'll say, yeah, I got it. And then they like won't move forward. All right. And then the last part here is qualify. So you, again, this is a little script. This is all really important because you're making sure that they are qualified for the offer. You're almost like mini handling objections before they go to the next call. And doing this in the right way will drastically increase the, the show rate of the next call for the closer. And it'll help you, um, I mean, ultimately make more money. So the way that would go is it would say, okay. And by the way, you know, Mitchell usually has me fill out this short form for anyone I put in the calendar. Um, and I can do most of it myself based on what we talked about, but, um, would you, do you have like an extra like minute or two to help me kind of fill this out? So, um, the, the person that you're talking to, right, Mitchell, um, he'll be brought up to the speed. And then when you guys get on the actual call, you can just hit the ground one running. Is that cool? Do you have like an extra minute? Um, they say yes. And they say, okay, great. So, and then these are just bullet questions. You don't have to ask all these. Cause again, you might be able to fill these out yourself based on the way they answer the question. But you would say, you know, how, I'm just curious, like how long have you been following uh, Cole or how long have you been following this person, right? Because anyone that you're working with that, that you're finding in the high ticket space is usually pretty known, right? For the most part within their, within their in, uh, respective industries. So you'd say, okay, so how long have you been, you know, following person? Okay. Gotcha. And you know, that, and you said that the biggest problem is blank or yeah, I'm sorry, you would fill in. And you said the biggest problem that you need help with is, you know, getting more leads, right? And they'd say, yes. And your goal is, you know, just so you, you talked about earlier, it's 25,000 a month. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, and you know, how does a leadership structure work within your company? So this is more of like, you'd only ask this if you think that they're a little bit lower, like they're not the owner of the company. Cause if they have like a decision maker, you would want to get the decision maker on the phone, not just the person that's like the marketing manager or whatever. Um, so you, you want to ask that and, and you don't want to scale from one to 10, you know, one being things are like really, really tight right now. And 10 being, you know, I have the resources to do whatever I want. Um, where do you feel like you are financially? So again, this is more for like, usually like a B to C offer where you're talking to the consumer, where they might, you know, be, be jumping into something like make money online. Um, but sometimes if it's like a business owner and like, they're already doing, if they told you, yeah, we're doing like 500 grand a month, like you don't really have to answer that question. Um, you know, in terms of bandwidth, you know, some of the frameworks you guys will talk about will require about X amount of time a week. Um, is that something that you have the bandwidth to, to deal with right now? So you're really just figuring out, okay, I'm qualifying them. Do they have enough time to actually do the thing that we're going to be putting in front of them? So that's what you do there. So guys, that's pretty much the, uh, that's the triage script. So we're going to jump over into a live call now and let's get after it. Hey, is this, uh, is this Ezra? It is. Hey, what's going on, man? This is, uh, this is Aaron. How's it going? Hey, Aaron. Uh, pretty good, man. Just another Thursday. How's your day going? Dude, it's good. It's good. I just, um, just got done at the gym and getting breakfast, getting ready for the day, all that kind of stuff. Um, we, we had a call scheduled right now. How, how's the wind or how's the week been so far? Oh yeah, we do. Nice, man. Uh, it's been pretty good. Pretty good. Just got a workout in myself a couple hours ago. How was your workout? It was okay. It was okay. Just getting, getting, it's, it's good to get, you know, out in the morning and, and get stuff done. So, uh, is it cool if we, we jump in just to make sure we, we have enough time here? Let's rock and roll, man. I'm ready when you are. Cool. So just to set up the call really quickly, you know, I'd, I'd really like to just get as much, you know, about you and in the short amount of time that we can, just so we can, you know, help you out as much as possible. Um, and in order to do so, you know, what I've really found to work best with these kinds of calls is just, uh, getting a quick idea of, of where you currently are, some of the goals you're trying to hit and, and, and things like that, like where you need the most help right now. Uh, it shouldn't take too long, uh, you know, based on, on that, it can hook you up with some, some actionable like content. We have a ton of videos that you can go through, um, that would be relevant to that and then also help you best in the business right now. So does that sound good? That's awesome, man. Yeah. That sounds great. Um, cool. yeah. So sorry, go ahead. What, yeah. What do you think is, uh, like currently right now, what do you think is like the biggest, um, like challenge within the business? Uh, biggest challenge is getting gym owners themselves to actually just pick up and give me the time of day or give us the time of day. Uh, reason being, I mean, it's just a lot of competition out there. Uh, I know that what we have is unique to gym owners, but you know, again, it's just getting in front of, if you will, enough gym owners. Mm -hmm. Okay. Gotcha. And what, I guess, what are you doing right now to, to get in front of those, those gym owners? A lot of it is just guerrilla marketing. So we're hitting just local gyms that are very niche. You know, if you see like a women's gym, for example, or a CrossFit gym, or even like a strictly bodybuilding gym or powerlifting gym, um, we're just going in talking to the owners, but you know, a lot of times we're just finding out that maybe two, three, four, five other people have already talked to them. So 
you know, they've already got something in the pipeline. Gotcha. So kind of like the, the competition then? Very much so. Definitely competitive market. Cool. And how many, you know, this this month, how many of those those gyms did you did you go out and talk to? Uh, typically, I try to hit 10 gyms a week. And that could even be just like a call in, you know, the different areas of the state. But 10, gym, 10 gyms a week, and out of that, normally I'll have to sit down with one to two of them. Okay. And one to two gyms sitting down, how many of those are you closing? 50%. Okay, cool. So out of those those numbers, let's say in the last month, out of the ten gyms you talk to, you're doing about one one deal a month. That's about right. Okay, cool. Um, what what is the what's the offer? Like, what are you um like what are you currently selling? So we're actually doing Facebook ads for the gyms. Uh, our price point is actually two thousand for our offer. Um, but same thing. So with that Facebook ads package, they can actually upgrade and they can go to a five thousand dollar package, but we normally start them off with a two K just to get their foot in the door. Gotcha. And with those with those gyms, I think you mentioned it before, like you know, you're currently going to like these in person gyms. Like who would be like your ideal client? Like if you could only like if you only had to talk to like one specific type of business owner, who who do you think that would be? Oh, definitely. I mean, again, definitely a niche gym, uh, someone who's already out there and kind of within their local community, uh, just has people's interest already peaked, you know, again, bodybuilding and fitness and taking care of yourself is a big, uh, big part of the gym, just environment these days. Uh, so okay. definitely established. They've got their own client flow, everything coming in constantly, but, uh, just adding along with that. So taking gyms a lot of times from the $25,000 mark per month to the seventy five and hundred thousand dollar mark. Gotcha. But, but we're about strap. <laughs> Sorry? I said, but we're about strapped with that too. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, I'm just writing down some notes. Sorry, just making sure that I have everything good here. Um okay, so twenty five K, you're trying to help them get to the the twenty five K mark. Um outside of that, like so and you kind of told me about the sales process a little bit, but let's say like let's say you had people coming inbound, right? Like you've had leads coming through and they were like physically come like reaching out to you what is your overall like sales process to bring them from like they have no idea who you are up into where like they're um they're you know they become a paying client like what does that process look like uh well, really as of right now man just being completely honest with you it's very raw uh you know i talk to a client and i pretty much spitball off the uh top of my head and talk about our services and everything but our process really hasn't been like ironed out or is, isn't very straightforward, unfortunately, Dang. but I want to get there. Yeah. I mean, is that something that you're, you're open to like learning more about like, or like not learning more about, but like open to refining, right? Making just having an overall process. Definitely. I mean, as of right now, like I said, I feel like we're about capped. And as I told you, just being honest, only taking on one new gym, you know, closing percentage a month. Uh, the math just ain't mathing, if you will. So it's time to increase these numbers. <laughs> yeah, I feel that. What's um, I guess what's like the the biggest thing right now? You know, not being able to bring in clients. Like, how how is that affecting the business overall? Uh, it's almost just like we're paying Peter to pay Paul, or sorry, borrowing from Peter to pay Paul. And it's yeah. um, you know, we have a couple months where you know, hey, if I sign a, two clients, or maybe even three, and that's mm -hmm. happened. Uh, you know, a couple of times since we started off, but yeah, we'll have an influx those months. But if we have a month that I don't sign any gyms, then we're in the hole pretty, pretty big. Eh. Okay. Gotcha. So really just being able to, I mean, you already told me, but, but the lead generation sounds like it would help that out a lot. Um, so ultimately like if you were able to get the, you know, the, the lead gen figure out like, and let's say like all that was, was dialed in, like what is the ultimate from the one client a month that you bring on right now, like what is the goal for, for your company? Well, we when can I talk revenue, off, we can talk members, we can talk whatever that looks like. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, when I started off with the, the business, you know, I, I'm a guy that works out himself to like to, uh, think of fitness and health as being the other side of wealth. Um, but you know, when I started off, I, my plan was, you know, I really want to get, that's why that 10 a week kind of number came around. I really want to get 10 total a month coming in. Now, where I'm struggling with that is, again, the consistency. Like, if I sign up a gym and we increase their numbers, you know, it could only be one to two months. 
that they stay with us and then they cancel. And I mean, that's a good thing that they're yeah. seeing good results, but it also could be that they're getting poached. And a lot of times I ask them, hey, have you talked to another agency? Are they coming on board with better numbers or what they're able to do for you? And sometimes yes and sometimes no. So I don't know necessarily why, but hey. you know, ultimately I guess I'd like to have a consistent 10 clients a month. Uh, I'd like to keep them within our course and our program or our agency within about six months minimum. And I'd like to be at 100K a month ourselves. Cool. So, I mean, if we did if we did some math there, like obviously we'd have to to bring out a good amount of people. And you said you were charging like fifteen hundred to two grand a month, right? We've got yeah, it's two thousand for the initial uh, uh-huh. package. Is that is that something? Is that like the price point that you want to be charging, or do you think like what you guys are currently doing could definitely be priced higher, or like what do you think there? I mean, just understanding a little bit about this market, like, sure, I think we could be higher, but like, I some I don't know, you know, that's tough for me to say because two thousand dollars, you know, I know fitness like the back of my hand, and so sometimes I feel like my expertise is definitely worth two thousand dollars, if not, like I said, our back end at five thousand. Okay. But if you're insinuating like ten, fifteen thousand, I mean, it's just tough for me to even myself wrap my head around that number. Gotcha. But we could. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I definitely think you know if we're if we're talking about like supply and demand of, you know, if we, you know, partnering up and and solving the problem of lead gen, right? You're going to bring in so many more people that because you have that influx of people right now. Because if you're bringing on one client a month, it's like it's kind of hit or miss. Like you spend that whole month trying to get them good results, right? But if they don't get good results, it's like well, you don't really have a case study to play off of. As opposed to like if we were able to help you get to the point where you know there's ten or you know through some of these strategies, like ten new clients a month, it's like out of those 10, you'll probably have at least, you know, 50, 60, 70% success rate where they're all crushing it. And then now people are coming to you. You know what I mean? And then because there's more people to come to you, supply and demand takes over where you can start to charge more just from the sheer fact that like you have more people that want the thing that you have. Does that make sense? It makes a lot of sense. I don't think I've ever looked at it from that angle. Sweet. Yeah. Just trying to give some, just some, some context to the, to the thing. We talked to a lot of gym owners, so we, yeah, a man, lot of these he, things are, are things that we're always talking about. Um, oh, what other success have you seen within them? With your with, uh, with our clients? Program. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's all relative, right? It's dependent on, it's all depending on the client, their situation. I mean, just the reason we're talking to you and having this conversation is figuring out what the goal is, right? So some people are like, yeah, like I just want to be able to bring on an extra two clients a month. Um, you know, and obviously we we help people do that. Or, you know, some people are, are a little bit on the higher end where they're like, you know, we're already... You know, we're already doing 100, 200 grand a month and, you know, we want to take it to 500 or, you know, a million dollars a month, you know. And I know those numbers might seem kind of crazy, but, um, you know, it's, it's just all relative on what they're looking to hit. So, um, all right. dude, I have a, I think I have a pretty good understanding. Like I said, I'm really only keeping this call like, you know, five, hopefully five to 10 minutes. Um, you know, is it is it cool if I share with you kind of like, you know, next steps and, and things that I, I think could definitely help you out? That'd be great. Sweet. Um, so I think, you know, the thing based on all this stuff, like there's a ton of training that I can pair you with, um, but it's definitely not going to help you get to like the, the end goal that you told me, right. If we're looking to get to, you know, 10 clients per month consistently, um, keeping them, you know, for six months, right. That goes into a whole other thing of retention and, and all that kind of stuff. And ultimately, you know, hundred grand a month. Um, I think the training again is good. It'll help you give some, some different tools for that. Um, but it's not, again, it's not going to be that magic bullet to help you get there. So you know, dude, we, like I said before, we work with a ton of people in, in the gym marketing space doing like way, way bigger numbers than, you know, the 10, 20, 30 grand a month mark. Um, and I think, you know, I can go ahead and pair you up with, with one of our head advisors. His name is Mitchell. He's actually, um, you know, one of Cole's right hand guys and he works really closely with the clients and he can actually show you and give you some strategies and frameworks and, you know, methods that, that are helping some of these people hit 500 grand a month in their, um, in their business. So, um, is that something that you're open to just like having a conversation with them and, and kind of giving you some, some tips and tricks on how you can get closer to that point? That'd be awesome, man. Always open to learn. Cool. Um, so let me just open up my calendar right now. It looks like I have, um, and, and, you know, while I find this time, like, you know, just keep in mind, like, it's not like, if, if you want to learn more about what it's like to work with us, we can talk about that. But again, there's, there's no obligation to do that. So I have uh, about 10.30 a.m. and 2 p.m. tomorrow. Um, what is that? Do either of those work for you? 
Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and knock it out first thing, 10.30 in the morning. 10.30, okay, perfect. And uh, 10.30, so let me go ahead and click that here. So I sent it over to you. Um, can you go ahead and accept the, the calendar invite real quick and confirm you did that? Yes, there it is, and confirmed. Sweet. Yeah, I just like to make sure sometimes it gets kind of mixed up and, you know, not able to to, to get to it and can, kind of gets glossed over. So um, last thing here, uh, you just have like two more minutes. Um, you know, what I usually like to do for these calls is so that you and Mitchell can hit the ground running as quickly as possible. Um, I just have like a really quick like survey or form that I fill out. Um, I already, I can fill out a lot of it myself because we've already kind of talked about some of the stuff, but it just have like maybe like two or three more questions for you if that's cool, just so I can fill this out for him. No doubt, of course. Cool. Um, so so how long have you been following um, Cole? Like how long have you been following him and like what we're doing with the gyms? Uh, or, you know, probably, gym, gym marketing companies? Probably been following him on Instagram now for about a year. And, you know, just kind of been watching his material and everything and some stuff I just can't ignore. You know what I mean? It's just so good. And I've used some of his stuff even to close some clients myself. So uh, nice. definitely figured I was getting to the point that I needed to have a conversation with you all directly. Cool, man. I mean, that's that's good to know that you're you're taking action on on the free stuff. So <laughs> it, it makes it, I'm sure it, it helps you a ton too, just knowing that, you know, a lot of the stuff that we're talking about, actually, it does actually work. Um, and just to confirm, you said the biggest problem right now is just lead gen. You're just not getting enough people through, right? That's it, man. Cool. And the goal, I mean, what I have written down is, you know, when I, at least in the next, you know, three, six months, 10 clients consistently per month, hold them on for six months, um, you know, in terms of, yeah, just retention at the minimum. And then also just ultimate goal, um, over the next six to 12 months, a hundred grand a month. That's it, man. That's perfect. That's the goals. Yeah, for sure. And uh, on a scale from, I mean, let's say like a scale from one to 10, like one being like, okay, things are super tight right now. Like this probably isn't something that I can invest in. Um, you know, how I like, and 10 being like, you know, I have the resources. I, I can like in invest financially if it makes sense. Like where are you on, on a scale from one to 10? Well, kind of like I said, man, it's really hit or miss. So those months that are good, um, you know, I definitely net. 10 to 15,000, but those months that are bad, I'm, like I said, in the hole, probably about five. So, uh, you know, if I can get some clients rocking and rolling here going, then yeah, money should, or, you know, investing back in my business is never an issue then. Got it. Cool. And, um, last one here, like in terms of bandwidth, so like the amount of time that you have, do you, do you feel like you have enough time? Um, like let's, so let's say like we're, we're to give you some training, right? Do you feel like you have you know, let's say two to three hours a week to to really invest the time into to implementing some of this stuff? Oh, two to three hours a week? Definitely. I mean, yeah. I can give you five. Okay, cool. And yeah, it's, it's all, again, it's all relative, right? If you have, you know, if you have five hours a week or 10 hours a week, you definitely bust through a lot of the stuff and implement a lot more uh, because you have that time. Um, but cool, man. Well, uh, Ezra, it's great, great talking to you. We're on the calendar, great. so we should be good to go. Um, any, any questions before we, before we hop off here and, and, um, you have the chat with, uh, with Mitchell tomorrow? Uh, thank you. You answered everything, man. I appreciate it. Looking forward to talking with him and looking forward to seeing if we can work something out. Excellent. So I went ahead and, uh, to the email that I have on here, I sent over that training for you. Um, it's just going to go over a couple different things in terms of, you know, some lead gen strategies that we use. Um, some of them you might've seen, you know, on Instagram and stuff, but this is just a more, uh, you know, a, a easier breakdown for you to go through and and see like okay here, here are some of the things that i can start implementing from um just some of the stuff we talked about today um so make sure you got that and um yeah mitchell will we'll be talking to you tomorrow awesome you're the man aaron thanks brother all right talk to you soon see ya all right so now that you have the exact scripts and the templates to be effective as an appointment setter you need to get placed on an offer so on the screen right now is going to bring you to an entire training video where i break down not only where to find them but how to submit your applications how to send in your one minute video and everything that's going to get you placed so master everything in this video click the video that's on screen and we'll see you on the other side